More and more people live in cities. What are the challenges when creating public spaces for them? Um, I think it's to create a balance in the urban situation. Uh, a balance between nature and the, the urban situation. The city is basically for, for people and the de development we have had for the last hundred years ha had to uh, avoid uh, nature, so to say. So I think today the, it's a question of having a new balance between the nature, which is lacking in the city, and then the urbanity, which, which there is enough, enough of. Uh, the city is uh, artificial uh, construction and it becomes more and more unbalanced as it develops, we can see. A lot of our technological um, solutions on problems uh, doesn't really solve the problem. Like the, the drainage system, all the sewer systems today is not efficient enough for, for, for the rain, water and all the other problems we have with the water. So I think we have to redefine our relationship to, to nature and learn from the system in nature and introduce them to, to the new development of the city. And I think that the, the urban space is the perfect place to do that. So the urban space can be a generator for, for a new order, a new system in, in the city. And what is being done in, in Copenhagen to meet these challenges? First, I think it's, um, I think it's very important that, that people learn about this. It's, it's not something we just can start on. People have to understand that that nature now becomes an issue in the city, not as a picture, but as a, more like a, a process that, um, of course, when it's raining, it's a problem. Uh, so we have to transform that into a amenity value, something that people become very happy on when it's raining and not see all the problem because their cellar is full of water and cars are drowned in, in water and a lot of other problems that we have seen here. So there's a, there's a sort of education um, so people today learn the relationship between them, their life, and, and nature, and learn that they are part of the metabolism that happens in nature. So the, city, the life in the city has to change, and it's not only about urban qualities, but it's also about uh, landscape or nature uh, qualities. But as I said, not, not as a well-known picture, but in a new, more abstract way. We have done in, in Fredericksberg, uh, City, five different urban space, they, and all of them have nature and landscape as, as a main theme. So when it's raining, they become more beautiful than when it's sunshine. And since it's in Copenhagen, three-thirds of the year is cloudy or raining, so of course it's very much more interesting that the space become beautiful or interesting for people uh, when it's raining and not when it's sunshine. Um, on the SEP Bank, which is recently open, which is also here in Copenhagen, we have done a public space where all the surfaces are white, so the albedo effect is very high, it means all the reflection of the sun back, uh, so the, the space itself becomes much more cooler than the surrounding, which also attracts people. So this is examples. And what do you predict will be the most important problems to solve in the coming years with regards to creating these public spaces? I think it, it, it's, the first part is to, to create this balance and have to be understood what, what does that mean that the system in, uh, in nature uh, uh, will control the development of the city. We have seen for, for many years that um, process, or no, we have seen for many years that uh, different events happen that we didn't expect. So all the planning is uh, sort of failure is always happening something else than we expected. So first of all, I think it's very important that the, the city development take care to become aware of the situation that planning is not the solution. Planning as we have done it until now is not the solution for creating this balance. We have to find a new way of planning. And the challenge in the, for the future will be, we don't know how it will look like, we will have flexible systems and they will be in balance with nature. So it's, it's planning for the unplanned, really. Exactly.